Now that the particles are moving in the direction we'd like, we have to address the problem of what happens when the particles hit the surface. We can come up with any kind of custom effect uh, to occur on collision. For example, we could have the particles grow the snow, but of course that would have to uh, be over the uh, duration of a long time before you would see any, any effect here. So that's not really going to be useful to us, but instead I could just use the collision as a condition for deleting particles uh, after collision. So all of these particles here, once they penetrate the ground, just keep going and going and going. There's nothing to actually remove them from the point cloud. And ICE is built perfectly to handle this. We have a number of conditionals that we can test for. Um, a lot of common attributes that you might access on a particle system. And one of them is a test whether or not the particles are colliding with a surface. If I drag that compound into my graph, it has a Boolean output, basically whether a particle hits or not, a yes or no. So it's Boolean per point, so it has a Boolean trigger value on each point of my point cloud. And I can actually save that collision location and use it uh, in other ice compounds. But for now I just want to use the hit uh, yes or no to trigger an effect. So I'm going to use a surface, so let's just pull this over here. And I want to use this ground as a test for this collision. So I'm going to open up my Explorer by pressing 8. And I open up my winter model, uh, set parent model, and I'll pick the ground and just drag it into my graph. Again, it accepts an object input here. So I'm outputting the value of the ground and using it to drive the surface collision, input of the test collision. And if there's a hit, I want to delete the particles. So let's see what we can do about deleting particles. If I go to the deleting particles category, there's a number of ways you can delete particles here, some uh, most common ones. I just actually want to use the delete particles. I, I actually haven't set an age on them yet, so this isn't going to work, and I'm not deleting them from a volume. They have to be deleted based on surface collision. So I'm just going to bring in the vanilla delete particles, and I can actually use it combined with this test to delete the unwanted particles. So just move the camera here for a moment. What I need to do is only delete the particles if this condition is true. So if hit equals 1 or yes, then delete particles. If no, then don't do anything. And those types of functions are best used with an execution node. We can actually use a, a node here. You can actually tell it's just a single gear, not a compound like the toolkit. I'm going to bring in an if statement or an if condition. And if a condition is met, in this case if there's a, a hit in our collision, then that's true. So what do we want to do if there's a hit? We want to delete the particles. Again, this is of type execute. So the output now that we're executing is again of type execute. And I'd want to be checking on every frame of my simulation whether this occurs. So again, after the forces have been added and before the next frame has been calculated. So I can actually just take that, maybe plug it into port 4. So if I hit play now, come on. Oh, <laughs> I'm silly. I disconnected the add forces. So let me just pull that back down. Let's do this. There we go. And as the particles fall and intersect the surface, you can see they're deleted. So that's going to speed up our uh, particle system quite a bit. We don't have thousands of particles off screen that uh, ICE is having to, to calculate. So I'll clean up the graph here a little bit. I'll move the simulate particles down a little bit more. I'll take my condition and move it down a little bit more. In fact, this is where compounds uh, become quite useful, uh, just even for organizing your graphs. This is not very uh, messy at all, but you could always just take uh, a little package that you've built here and just create a compound out of it, just simplify things a little bit, just give this a descriptive name. Uh, for now, we'll keep this open and we can clean it up a little later.